but haven't put out a biggest lip yet like her previous ones I really want her to get the holes on the new lips but obviously the plants need time you just need to be patient right Bagheera? yes so oh, someone's on my feet who is this? Kali. Hi. Okay. Now, um, I actually cut the longest part of this powders because it was a bit rotted and need more light over here doesn't have enough light that it needed so I cut it and you will see in a minute I prop up getting them and this one's doing fine it's still growing maybe it's the current setup for now the lighting is not very good so I'm gonna redo everything once I do proper new house plant tour something like that because honestly this is not the best timing to film but what can i say and there has been a construction going on like every fucking single day so this is the time when i can't hear anything anyway too much swearing the most exciting all exciting over on the top I'm just gonna show you it this cold plant update okay so I'm not gonna show you everything because so I'm just trying to keep it short. So this finally open up the new leaf. She loves hot spot obviously because when I place it in bathroom, remember if you follow me on Instagram, it starts to get brown because it doesn't have the brightest light where she was in, in my bathroom before it was next to the mirror so now she is placed exactly next to the window just like this so I think she's been loving it and my... okay check that uh, new leaf right there wow okay I think I'm gonna give you next update when it's fully open maybe in the next house plant tour but yeah she is doing fine and you can even see that like corn like shape it is the second pop that will be growing so exciting i have to water them tomorrow not today because i just want to make sure that they don't get root rot okay this guy see she is gorgeous Try to find the best light for this. Maybe here? Oh, yeah, here. So, yeah, she is super, super gorgeous. Gentic planet. Ini tu yang Vera Kosem yang ada di profile picture aku di Instagram sama YouTube. Ini sisanya, but I love her nonetheless. She is a such a survivor, survivor banget karena aku nggak yakin udah tinggal ya gara-gara kutu. Kalau kalian lihat a planter pertama aku di situ dijelasin kenapa bisa begini. Yes, but I'm so like. I really appreciate her so much because she is fighting with me. She's not giving up her life. 
And you know what? I think I will decide to cut this top part off. So each can be individual plants and sustain its energy for uh, individual growth. Look at this beauty. You look good on camera. Growing new leaves right here. Okay. And this is my pride and joy with three again. Okay. Her smell it is cutie. So it's so perfect. I love love. Oh, look at that. It is a hybrid of my two favorite philodendrons that I don't even think it's possible to obviously they have to the best trait of each plants. I love the pattern on Sodiroy here and then the redis of the fair custom obviously okay i think that's it for the update and that pink princess it's doing all right and this guy one of the cause of moving too much got a root rot short story but i'm surprised it's the old can it's still holding up to all the biggest leaves so far i have to be honest with you i think I think I own you this explanation because a lot of people still watching my unboxing of this guy. To be honest with you, oh shit, this happens a lot. To be honest with you, I think I have to cut every single node. To able to preserve its plants because I know what's gonna happen if the roots doesn't really develop fast enough and strong enough to sustain all the energy it's needed to be able to uh, keep all the big green leaves then before that happen or when it's give a sign that it will happening soon I need to cut each of the nodes so I can preserve or at least I can try to preserve every single leaf that are still surviving. Jadi kalau nanti um, apa akarnya nggak bisa nggak tumbuh-tumbuh dan akhirnya daun-daun ini mulai menguning, nggak ada pilihan lain. Aku akan harus potong masing-masing node. Node itu, enggak. Jadi ini. Aku harus nanti potong di sini, potong di sini juga bisa. Terus di sini, I will try ya, yeah, obviously. Jadi masing-masing ini harus aku potong biar untuk mempertahankan kelangsungan hidup dari masing-masing node atau daun biar nggak mati sia-sia semuanya. Jadi saat daun yang ini mulai menguning dengan cepat terus menjalar ke yang lainnya dengan cepat itu waktunya kita potong untuk sekarang saya masih berharap akar yang di bawah ini akan tumbuh jadi saya mau nanti nggak um, usah dipotong semuanya gitu loh so I still hoping this roots can grow one day so I don't have to cut everything at least I will cut maybe one or two nodes but not the whole shebang you know what I mean because I already cut this to preserve the top so the plants is not too heavy because as you can see this is kind of ridiculous surviving tactic whatever 
karena seperti yang kalian lihat aku sudah potong ini ujung ujung tanamannya supaya yang itu nggak terlalu berat dan itu wah di orang jujur satu dua hari ini udah bisa diripot nih aku nggak mau kalau akarnya terlalu panjang banget sebenarnya but ya itulah gunanya di air jadi bisa sedikit mendanunda pekerjaan which is not good okay so behind me this is the potos I'm talking about hi bigir okay you can see her eyes from far bigi you're sleepy yeah yeah back to the plants I just cut it like um, yesterday I think and yeah I'm gonna make a separate plants I think and then just ended up put it back to the original pot See, she's still gorgeous. Oh shit! I almost snapped. Okay, okay. I almost snapped the new leaves off. You see me all the time fucked up with once when it unboxing and stuff. I'm sorry, girl. Okay, that's it. Beside, if I give you all this polar right now, it won't be fun for the next plant tour so oh yeah one last thing one that doesn't survive the move it's is my if you see on my latest haul which is a philodendron mummy it's gone i i couldn't save it i tried guys like you know i tried and i don't as you know you have to remind yourself even I consider myself now, I have a little bit of experience when it comes to saving plants, right? Even then, I still couldn't save my mommy. So we have to keep remind ourselves that we have no full control over the result. Because they are living being, even from what happened that I couldn't save their I knew at least one or two things that I could have done better, but with mommy, honestly, uh, it's kind of just just rotting away and was attacked by fungus nut and stuff. Okay, that's it, guys. I am talking too much, and as you can hear, maybe now the construction noise is back. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.